Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I don't know why I close my eyes. What did I do that? Oh, here you go. Today, I'm going to be creating a halo eye glitter look. Um, this is my first time doing one, so I hope you guys like it. Um, I have hooded eyes, so it's like I do it like a little different than someone that would have like large eyelids not large eyelids but you know like not hooded <laughs> so yeah um i've been like not that active and i'm sorry about that because like the last time i uploaded a video was like maybe like two months ago but <clears throat> yeah so if you guys want to know how i achieved this look then just stick around so as you can see i have already done my eyebrows and my eyelids are already primed so i'm gonna start off with the shade golden ochre which i am going to use as my transition shade and we're just gonna put that all over the eyelid so now we're just gonna take the shade raw sienna and we're just gonna put that all over the crease of our eyelid So now we're going to add the shade Railgar on the inner and outer corners of our eyelid just so we can intensify the look more. So now we're just going to take my NYX blending brush and we're just going to blend it all over the lid. So now we're going to take the shade Antique Bronze and we're going to repeat the same steps as we did with Railgar. So now we're going to do the same thing except with the shade Cypress Amber. So now I'm just going to be taking my NYX glitter primer and I'm going to be applying that on a flat brush so I can put it on my lid. I'm going to be applying the glue on the other eye and I'm doing that just so the glue on the other eye can just set so then when you put the glitter on there's not a lot of fallout on it. So for my glitter, I'm going to be using a flat brush. Any flat brush you have is fine as long as it's like kind of small. I'm going to, for the glitter, I'm going to be using B5 Golden Eye from Bolt Glitters. So we're going to go back in with the shade Cypress Amber so we can deepen up the crease and blend it in well with the glitter. So I am going to be applying my NYX um, Black Liquid Liner and you don't have to do liner if you don't want to just because it's already a dramatic look as it is but since I have small eyes I like to use eyeliner with like every look I do. Also um, if you want like to make it easier if you're like a beginner you could also put the glitter on your, you could put the glitter on after you do 
the liner because that would be easier so then you don't have to struggle putting on the eyeliner over the glitter because you would have to coat it like various times just so you could get the glitter covered with the liner. If you're a beginner at doing eyeliner, a tip that um, um, you could use is you could take like any concealer or foundation or anything and you could um, cut it from the bottom and it will give you like a really sharp line and it honestly it helps a lot. So now moving on to my face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer to keep my makeup long lasting and it really hydrates my face and it smells really good. So next I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm going to use my Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 230 which is too dark for me. So I'm just going to take my LA Girl um, Foundation in the shade Porcelain to lighten it up a little bit which makes a big difference honestly. For applying your foundation or blending it, I guess, you do have to make sure that you drag it all along your neck and blend it in really good. You can use a beauty blender, a brush, anything that helps you blend in your foundation really good is useful. Okay, so to set my foundation, I am going to use my CoverGirl Clean Press Powder to set my foundation. I personally do not bake my face just because I already have really dry skin as it is. So, yeah. To contour my face, I am going to use my Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche and I am using a Morphe fluffy brush, like for your face obviously, but I really don't know like the name of it or like the number or anything because it just came like in a big package that I ordered a long time ago. So next, I am going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit in the shade Summer. And I'm going to use that to highlight my cheeks. And also, when you highlight, try to get, um, try to smile when you highlight your cheeks so it could get the apples of your cheeks. And when you look straight forward and you smile, it'll be on your cheeks and it'll look super nice. So now I'm going to be taking the shade Vermeer and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone and also use it as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to be going back in with the shade Cypress Amber and I'm going to put that on the waterline and also I'm going to repeat the same step on the other eye. Now repeating the same step with the shade Ralgar.
So I am going to take my Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Curveler Mascara and honestly it's really good. I also applied that on the top as well. So now I'm just going to take my Mario Desco Spray just to set my face. So now I'm going to take my NYX um, Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exotic and I'm going to use that as my lipstick. I also do not um, line my lips just because I feel like I already have big lips and for me to line them more it's just going to make them more big and it's just like... I don't know how I feel about that. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like this video if you guys want to see more videos like this. And um, also subscribe to my channel. And hit the little bell just so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I'm going to try to upload more at a time. Or like no more at a time. But like more frequently. Just because I've been really busy with a whole bunch of stuff. And I haven't been uploading. So yeah. See you guys next time.